So in this video, we're going to talk about some tools in Linux that you can use to scan your entire environment. You can see the devices that are connected to your network, what ports are open on those devices. And if you're in a home setup, you can also use that to know if there is a stranger inside your home network because you can see the connected devices to your router. Now, you should not use these commands at work because it would lead to very severe consequences like warning and terminations from your job because there is a high chance that if you run these commands without the proper authorization, you will be violating policies in your company. So for you to run them, make sure you get authorization in your company, make sure you have the authorization in your keeping so you can defend yourself in case something were to go wrong. The very first command we're gonna use, let's go to a Kali Linux uh, box. And if you don't know how to install Kali, you can look on the top of your screen and you should see a video I put on how to install Kali within minutes. And it's very easy and very straightforward. So uh, we get to a Kali box, I'm gonna open the terminal. And uh, when we open that terminal, I wanna switch to the root user. That's the very first thing I wanna do. In fact, let me increase the font so you can see me better. I'm going to do a sudo su and I hit enter and that's going to ask for my password. When I put in my password, I'm now within my Kali environment as the root user. First thing I want to do is to check my IP address, IP add. And this shows you my loopback interface and it also shows you my uh, connection, the actual, connect, the actual connection I'm using. My IP is 10.0.0.72. You should not care about the loopback interface. That's not a use for that right now. Anyway, now I know my IP. So the very first tool we are going to use is called NetDiscover. You can literally scan your IP address. And if you do that, it would scan the entire subnet. So if I say 10.0.0.72, it's going to know to scan 10.0.0.0, which is my entire network. So I'll go ahead and clear my screen. And I'm going to start NetDiscover dash R. And then you put the IP address 10.0.0.0 uh, slash 24, which is my subnet mask. And I hit enter. And this scanning begins. It's going to scan my entire network and already is finding a bunch of devices. You can see clearly that I have some devices connected to my network. Over here, you can see I have an Intel. Uh, it's probably a router. I have a Magic Jack device. I have another Dell device here. And... Uh, I have some Google stuff. I have this uh, vacuum cleaner that cleans my house. And I have some routers, routers, another routers, uh, some entertainment devices, Amazon uh, podcast. So these are the things that are connected to my network right now. I have so many different networks, but you can clearly see that I have 28 hosts right now connected to this network. And some of them are cell phones and other devices too. So. This kind of helps me. If I were to see a device, let's say this one, this Nintendo device, and I have no idea what it is, at least I would start investigating or maybe block this uh, MAC address associated to this Nintendo device from accessing the internet within my house. However, I know that's my Nintendo Switch. It's a, it's a video game uh, uh, console. So we are good there. And so this is very important. Now, one thing you want to know is when you run a command like NetDiscover, it's flooding your environment with a bunch of ARP requests, address resolution protocol, and that can kind of congest your network. And it might make your network slow. That's why we need authorization to run this. Imagine that you're doing this within a corporate network and there are other production servers doing their work. This is going to impede their activity and it might lead to your termination. Let's say you're not very versed with Linux and you want to use another tool to do this. You could try the Angry IP Scanner. And uh, this is the website angryip.org. It's an open source software that you can use to scan your entire environment without having to pay for anything. So I'm going to click here. It says over 29 million downloads. I'm going to click on free download. And it should bring us to this page. I have a Windows. If you have a Mac, choose the installer for Mac also. And this is the installer. So I'm just going to head and download that on my desktop. And once it's downloaded, that's complete. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. Uh, I'll install the package. Very straightforward, a regular installation, like any other installation on Windows. Next, 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 next. And then finish. And I could select here, run angry IP scanner. I just want to start it. I click finish. And as soon as you click that, it comes up. And the cool thing about Angry IP Scanner is uh, 
it automatically knows your network. It says I'm of the 10.0.0 network up to 10.255. And if you come over here to settings, you can preferences, you can click on preferences, and I'll come to display. And I want to check it and ask it to scan only for a live host responding to ping. I don't want it to show me a host that are not alive. And that's all. I just click OK. And I will hit start to start the scanning process. So this will start scanning. And the cool thing here, it's also going to show us all the ports that are open on these devices on my network. Uh, and it will tell us how many devices are open, how many ports are open. And we can continue our investigation from there. So let's give it a second to do the scan. We can see on this device, it's scanned about all my 254 hosts. It's found 38 hosts alive. There are 38 hosts now running on my network. Uh, for this, you see that port 443 on this server is open. I'm not sure what server it is. It's probably a, a web server. And then uh, we have different hosts. And it will continue to do those scans. You can scan as many times as possible to see what's happening on that particular. There are other ports that are open. But the next thing we are going to do now is uh, we will now for sure that, hey, this is what I have in my infrastructure. And these are the name of the system with my in my in my infrastructure. So it can give you more information than that, just depending on the tuning. But you can play with Angry IP Scanner, and there are hundreds of those uh, free tools out there. However, we're going to look at the last one that I really like. It's called Nmap. For that, we're going to go back to the uh, Kali Linux command line, and we're going to play with Nmap. I'm going to hit Control C to kill this previous command. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to run the first command called nmap. So if you want to see a lot of detailed results, uh, like every system in your environment, nmap is so powerful because nmap is going to go and across different subnets and do this scan. And it's going to be very busy also. It can become very uh, CPU intensive on the resources that it's scanning. And so if we come here, we do an nmap. And then we do a minus uppercase A. And then we give again the address. That's my network address. If you have a 192.168.1.0, go ahead and put that in there. And uh, I'll put slash 24. That's my subnet mask. And I hit enter. This is going to take maybe 30, 40 minutes, but it's going to scan and give you so much details about all the devices that it scans. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, but I will show you uh, the scan result I had saved from a previous scan. And this will start the scanning process. Like I said, it should take quite some minutes. This is a scan result when the scan is completed. You can see the scan. And it will tell you for every device that it scanned, it will tell you. For example, this was the very first device, which is by a router. Uh, it's a free BSD server. And it tells you that port 22 is open on that router. Port 53 for, of course, DNS. Port 80 for a web server that's on that router. And it gives you so much details about what is saw in the router. It's going to give you stuff as much as the certificates. It will try to tell you the operating system running on the device. And that's just one. This is just for the same router, trace route to the router. And then now, all of this, you have about 214 line of responses just for the router. Then the next one is 10.0.0.4, another system. And you can see that about 999 ports are closed. Uh, you can see the SSH host key files for that uh, device. It knows that it's running on Linux, either a Linux kernel 4 or kernel 5. Uh, it gives you so much data about all the devices in your infrastructure on your network. So this can be very invasive, and that's why you don't want to run it in a workplace network or in a corporate infrastructure unless you've been authorized to do so, unless your job requires you to do so and you have a written confirmation for that. So these are hundreds of uh, about 30 machines in my infrastructure, and that will boil down to over almost uh, 1,100 uh, lines of uh, responses for those machines. So I will go ahead and do a fast scan with Nmap and show you how we can get much data, but this time not taking as much uh, time, like 12, 30 minutes we did with this one. So I'll go ahead and I bought this scan and let's do a faster scan. We're going to do an nmap. nmap. And we're going to say dash T4. This just means, T4 means that the scan should be aggressive. It should go extremely fast. Dash F. F just means that scan all the popular ports. You know, we have over 65,000 ports on the system. 
and uh, we just wanted to scan just the popular pod. So it saves us a lot of time and a lot of headache. So I'm going to go ahead and give my subnet, my network, 10.0.0.0.0.0 at the end again. 0.0.0.0 and uh, it's the subnet max of 24. I'm going to hit enter. This is another deep scan, but it's going to be faster. We will not try to waste the time to give you the operating system or scan all 65,000 pods of every machine. So maybe in the next uh, two to three minutes, we should have some results. I'll pause this video and show you once the scan is completed. Okay, the scan's just completed. And uh, let me scroll back to the top and see what we get. And about the same thing, but this time less details. We're not going in for the fingerprints of uh, key files and everything. So we have here uh, 10 0 slash 24. This is again the first node that they found. So the pods that are open on the node. And it's the MAC address and uh, 10.0.0.1. The next one is a scan for this IP 10.0.0.6. It's a Microsoft device. That's probably my son's Xbox. Uh, and it's also scanned a bunch of other nodes. So these are more results. Google, see, based on the MAC address, it knows the manufacturer, of course. So we can see this is another very good amount of results. And if you are in ethical hacking or dirty hacking or you can start from here knowing what people have in their environment, what ports are open, what services those systems are running, and you can go and look for vulnerabilities on those services or on those ports, and then you can launch an attack to those devices. But anyway, thank you so much for looking at this network scanning uh, video, and just remember not to run your workplace. Thank you so much, and uh, see you at the top where you belong. Thank you.